What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we need to talk to you about Faraday Future. I want to go over some of the current data points and what to expect tomorrow. Before we get into any of that, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, throughout the trading day, it was kind of lackluster. It was at least holding that 50 cent mark because I did say in the past that was a key point that shorts would really want to try and bring Faraday down. But lo and behold, after hours, this is where you see massive craziness and for the most part you do see this one buy right here that was no doubtably a short closing out the position no official news from faraday itself no sec filings so it is just merely piggybacking off of the broader market more specifically GameStop. And there's a couple of things that did come out that I just wanted to share with you. One of which is a planned live stream from Roaring Kitty. So he kind of put that tentatively out there onto YouTube and it kind of shows that he is back. And this time with 10 times the portfolio size and he's still been maintaining his position regardless of it going up. So this just shows a whole different level of commitment coming from the man himself. So I think in reality that is a pretty kick-ass thing and will definitely trickle down to the other meme stocks such as Faraday. So when it comes to shorts though, they did increase a small amount, 1.37 million shares, 9.28% of the the free flow is being shorted 40.38 million shares overall are being shorted and then cost of borrow average is 13.4 percent utilization is uh, 84.5 i just wanted to bring up one thing that i found very very interesting so over the last couple updates i've been letting you know exactly what shorts have been doing and they haven't really been doing all that much they increase maybe about 6 million shares return 1 million and so forth and blah 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 currently 9.28 percent of the free flow is being shorted so it's gone up quite a lot over this last week but nonetheless though you'd notice that it's not on the threshold list anymore so there is some sketchiness that is happening i don't really know much about that um, to actually make a kind of experienced guess but Market makers and shorts clearly work hand in hand and they must have done something just to kind of shuffle some shares around just to get it enough so that's not on the threshold list anymore just to alleviate anything coming from the SEC or something like that. So definitely very sketchy stuff is happening but nonetheless like there's definitely going to be hell to pay tomorrow when shorts wake up to this possibly around that $1 range. And as I've said, I think the last couple of videos, I've been really breaking it down on the options. So options is a very good sentiment and it kind of has pointing to where Faraday is wanting to go at least. So today there was a grand total of ding, 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 610,000 in calls, 383 in puts. So kind of low volume somewhat but 48% of all the options being done today were bullish and optimistic this is the current open interest so as I did say previously shorts slash market makers would want Faraday to close below 50 cents that way they don't have to cover any options obviously because if it's closing above the strike price then it does get exercised and market makers don't want to go to the open market to cover that right because they typically don't have a lot of risky stocks readily available to cover those options and then technically right now with the momentum that did happen after hours and potentially that could carry forward into tomorrow if Faraday is able to get above one dollar this is where you could see a massive domino effect and a gamma squeeze which would obviously result in a short squeeze so i think in reality bigger and better things might be coming despite there being no fundamental news from the company itself but like i've said in the past this all has not anything to do with uh, the day-to-day -day operations it does help that Mateus, the ceo does a couple videos that definitely does help boost the sentiment but I think right now people are investing in Faraday to combat against the shorting and whatever else. So let me know your thoughts on Faraday. Give yourself a shadow if you have been buying, if you have been selling, what have you been doing with Faraday? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And one final thing I just wanted to share with you, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000 kick-ass deal link in the description below and also the comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching